We have examined 72% of all biblical values, 90 out of 125. What we haven't examined are the values that are ambiguous, contradictory, and controversial. But before we do that, let's recap our findings. We can consolidate the original values of the Bible, or what has Christianity contributed to the world, into a single paragraph. It would go something like this. Along with your one and only spouse, don't eat meat with blood in it, and don't sacrifice it to wicked idols. And, before the unknown date of the apocalypse, spread the word to non-believers who, although having righteous potential, will challenge your claims. That's it. It could fit on a business card. This represents a correlation of 90%. If you think that's something, wait till you hear the Islam analysis. Why Christians hate Muslims? Because they can marry more than once, they believe all prophets are just messengers, and they allow those with physical defects to make sacrificial offerings. A business card is too big. It could fit in a fortune cookie. That's a 97% correlation. Is this why people actually fear Muslims? No. It's xenophobia. Sharia law is just an excuse. But what about Sharia law? Why do some Muslim nations execute apostates, blasphemers, adulterers, etc.? And developed Christian nations don't. The answer is incredibly simple. Developed Christian nations cherry pick which values of the Bible they support. This chart, in addition to the 90 values we've covered, also includes an analysis of the 35 controversial values, which are covered in the next section. This is what Biblical Obsolescence looks like. This section here represents 19% of all biblical values. This is what Christian cultures currently enforce. This section, 54%, is globally ignored or simply not enforceable. 67 out of 125 values. Here's the best part. This section is enforced under classical Sharia law. Islam is more than twice as loyal to biblical values compared to modern Christian cultures. You might be asking, but what about the Islamic values that are not in the Bible? There are 13 unique moral Islamic values and four unique wisdom values. They're not as bad as you might think. Some of the moral values include how freeing a slave is honorable, not to drink alcohol or gamble, and not committing suicide. Yes, the Bible does not specifically prohibit suicide. The wisdom values include being wary of Christians, the feeling is mutual, child nursing advice, man, not Allah, causes failures, which actually contradicts another value, boo, and contractual agreements should be written. How innovative. Getting back to Franklin Graham's quote about Islam being evil and wicked, is this accurate? Yes, Islam is evil and wicked. But on paper, it's not only more peaceful than the Bible, which we'll cover in the final section, but unlike Christians, Muslims are actually loyal to their source.